from your experience, I mean, you have figured it out, but you may not have it figured out all the time in the past, <laughs> but um, what is the key to balance and, you know, um, you know, family and business. I mean, how do you balance the chaos of having four, you know, kids running around and, you know, your relationship with your wife and running a crazy business? Yeah, I'll tell you, Jay, uh, it is, it's hard. Uh, I mean, any entrepreneur will tell you that balancing family and, and your business is very, very hard. And I have not done it super well, especially when I'm scaling and building a business in the early years. Uh, now I'm in a stage in a season where where I can step out a little bit and, and just look at my priorities. Sometimes when you're just in it and you're grinding out every single day and you can't hardly breathe because you're just constantly in the middle of it all and all the minutia and, and and you can't be present with your family, can't be present with your kids. I mean, I see that all the time with entrepreneurs. And that's what I talk about on the podcast. And people don't really talk about that much because they're always talking about their business success, but people don't talk a lot about their family success or their marriage success or their what well, you know what they're doing in their in their faith, right? So um, that's what I love love to talk about. So how do you balance it? I think is really just taking a step back and and trying to just do a priority board, right? Just start listing like what's really, really important to you. And when I took a step back, I started to ask myself some really hard questions. And right, I'm like, you know, because whatever decision that you make, you're gonna have to sacrifice something. And and I'm sure all the listeners, a lot of listeners out there, they know like when you're scaling and building a business, you can say and give a little bit of a lip service to this to say, hey, I'm doing this uh, so that one day I can spend time with my family and I'm trying to give them the things that I never had. And, and, and you can say all that, but during, during it all, I think that you're sacrificing a lot of those special moments, those magic moments with your family. So, you know, when I took a step back a year ago out of my business, I said, okay, I can maybe build another business. I can do all of that, but is it really going to help my family to make another X amount of dollars, let's say a million dollars easy. Would it, would it really help my family to make that or would it help them more if I was here and I was available and I got to spend the magic moments with them and I got to pour, pour into them uh, rather than trying to, to juggle at a hundred miles an hour all the time. So that's the season that I'm in. Um, and I would just encourage every entrepreneur out there just to start asking yourself those those hard questions and start to put your priorities in check. And I was talking to one entrepreneur one time, and this really stuck with me uh, because he was pretty successful. Uh, and he also, I saw him interact with his family, and I was like, you know, how do you do that? How do you? How are you pretty successful? And then you have this amazing family over here too. Like, how do you do that? And he said, well. You know, I could always be more successful in business, but I will not sacrifice my family to, to do that. And that really stuck with me. And so I had to ask, tell myself that, like I, I could do all these things and I, and I would like to do all these things. And, and this is one of the things I tell entrepreneurs all the time. Like I would love to speak and travel and do all these crazy things and to build businesses and, and, and do it all and be an amazing dad too and be an amazing husband. But I will tell you, I, I can't, right? I have to pick and I have to choose depending on the season that I'm in. And, and right now I'm choosing uh, my family, right? During this season.